Welcome to another podcast session. In our session today, I would like to talk about the inner dialogue or conversation we have with ourselves and the key role it plays in our life, especially our mental health. This is a continuation of the earlier episode on the same topic titled Inner Dialogue. Let's first begin by understanding the various ways through which we converse with our inner self. The first in this category is rumination. Rumination is a is a term or a word often used in the psychology parlance where it simply put is explained as something wherein you are constantly thinking about one particular negative thought and overthinking caught up into a web of repetitively not getting out of it so what does it really mean when a person is ruminating rumination is defined as engaging in a repetitive negative thought process that loops continuously in the mind without end or completion so friends if you have ever found yourself after a conflict with your partner or your boss or anyone else and you find yourself in an inner conversation where you're going over the whole thing again and again and self blaming yourself or there's something that has kept you so much worried and tense that you find yourself caught up in this in a cycle of a negative thought constantly thinking and overthinking about it without finding a way out now that's what and that's exactly where it's called that one is ruminating so if you ever found yourself doing so understand that you are ruminating and it has adverse effects on your mental health coming to the next category of our inner conversations these are called affirmations we may have at one end getting into a loop of constant repetitive negative thoughts which we term as rumination on the other end affirmation is to where we affirm something and to affirm means to say it formally clearly that something is true or that you support something strongly and affirmation also includes the mantras or incantations or reciting a particular verse from your holy scriptures and it has a miraculous positive effect in calming down ourselves and bringing to us the needed peace we need for our mind so if rumination is about being in a constant negative loop of thoughts through our inner conversation affirmations are positive statements that helps us challenge and overcome self sabotaging and negative thoughts we can actually simply conclude not to really get you into the complexities of neuroscience any thought or any inner conversations you are having with yourself if it is negative in nature it has an adverse impact both on your body and mind similarly if it is a positive one it has the opposite effects meaning you have a healthy body and a healthy mind to support this i would also like to share with you today in this session an experiment that this retail giant ikea did in uae way back in the year 2018 so it was a uh, it was in uae united arab emirates and in one of the schools or i guess it's at some spot with ikea they tried an experiment to promote this very concept of how negativity or our negative speech and thoughts impact and are disruptive and it impacts both our body and mind but they were more of 
uh, I mean the experiment they did was they took plants and to each plant they attach a specific device and node and they asked a group of students one set of students was asked to speak to the plants all the negative things that they could and to the other set of plants it was all the positive things that one could speak of this went on for days and eventually it was found that the student group which spoke all negativity to the plants they saw that the leaves were withering at a very fast rate and the plant was about to die wherein the plants where the student group were asked to only speak positive things to the plants it was found that the the plants flourished they were fresh this experiment kind of was an answer to may 4th which is also designated as against bullying at schools but a larger essence and theme of this entire experiment was to help people understand that how plants respond to human voice and how disruptive and negative it could be when a negative speech or talk is being constantly conferred on a plant so imagine if a negative talk does to a plant how adverse the effects could be on our mind i would like to close the session by quoting the best seller book written by ethan cross and in his book the inner chatter there's a beautiful statement he mentions a verbal stream plays an indispensable role in the creation of ourselves so friends next time be aware of what you say not just to others but also to yourself because understand every word we have with ourselves if it is of a negative nature it has a long term adverse effect on us thank you thank you for your time and i'll talk to you soon